First, let's begin with new information on the death of Michael Jackson. NBC's Jeff Rawson is at Jackson Star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Jeff, good morning to you. Hey, Matt, good morning to you. You know this town very well. Nothing is secret here for very long, which makes this so surprising. Big mystery brewing here. Where is Michael Jackson's body? No one can seem to know, but we do know where his brain is. This is the last time we saw Michael Jackson's casket at the Staples Center Tuesday. From there, destination unknown. But now we've confirmed the L.A. County Coroner's Office has Jackson's brain, at least a part of it. Investigators are analyzing his brain tissue. It's uncommon but could help determine what killed him. They'll be looking to see whether there is any evidence of prior brain damage, whether from drugs or trauma or post-viral infection. On his official death certificate, LaToya Jackson provides all the information. Cause of death? Deferred. She lists Forest Lawn Cemetery as a temporary location. That doesn't mean he'll be laid to rest there. To be buried at Neverland, the family would have to apply for special permits. NBC News has learned they haven't yet. But as Jermaine Jackson told Matt, Neverland would be the ideal resting place. This is his home. He created this. Why wouldn't he be here? I feel his presence. It remains unclear where he'll be buried or when. The enigma that was Michael Jackson continues even in death. Michael's life was a great story, but ultimately also a great tragedy. And if you knew him, you know it was full of agony and ecstasy. Come over and talk to us. Which is exactly why investigators are digging in. Did Jackson's doctors prescribe pills for cash? And did those pills kill him? I spoke with Los Angeles Police Chief William Bratton. We're certainly interviewing uh, doctors. We're certainly interviewing friends. Certainly trying to get an understanding of uh, what role drugs may have played in the life of Mr. Jackson. Are you confident there will be criminal charges in this case? No, not at all. As detectives probe Jackson's final days, racking up officer overtime, the city of Los Angeles is on the hook for more than a million dollars, providing security and other services at the memorial. There is outrage that the city had to pay the bill at all. More than 10,000 Jackson fans have logged into the city's website to donate money. Officials say that's not good enough. They want all of it back. It would be wonderful if the Jackson family would consider assisting the city in defraying some of the costs of this. It would also be tremendous if AEG would help us in defraying the costs on this. And it's not over yet. There's still the high-profile battle over Jackson's estate and, of course, the kids. And I just wanted to say I love him so much. Megastars by default. Heart-wrenching every time you see it. This is far from over. You still have the estate hearing. You still have the family trying to figure out where to bury Michael Jackson. And also that custody hearing, which is set for Monday, apparently making this more complicated. Sources say there's some major infighting going on within the Jackson family that they could all barely agree on how to handle the memorial. And that, as you said earlier, it's, it's fairly understandable after all they've been through. Yeah, they're going through a very tough time. Jeff Rawson in Hollywood. Jeff, thank you very much. It's